Hello, I'm Pearl of Wisdom, and you're listening to my NHL Pearls of Wisdom. And uh, I have a new website, Pro Picks. It's going to be actually, you can go over there now and start getting picks and uh, or sign up for it. But at the end of the month, we're going to start having uh, monthly your monthly packages and all of those sort of things like that. So you can go check that out, play around with it, see how it is. Get some picks there and then sign yourself up. Uh, so I am going to be uh, giving you the t- t- picks for the next two days. And that'll be for the 12th and 13th. I'll give you lines. These are early lines. If you would like to, until then, get picks, go to 780-690-1995. Message me at 780-690-1995 and you can get Picks there. We nailed our pick yesterday for all our email transfer, PayPal people. We nailed our pick. It was Anaheim over Seattle Kraken. Boom. Nailed it. Uh, didn't have a bad day yesterday. I was up a little bit. I uh, thought it would be a little better than it was, but that's gambling. But you're still up. And I'm up most of the time. So I highly remember pro picks. Pro picks. Check it out. Okay, let's look at uh, the picks for tonight and for tomorrow. All the frolic. Remember, don't forget to subscribe, boys and girls. Subscribe to the channel here so you can get these free picks all the time. And I'll send you a My NHL Pearls of Wisdom necklace right to your door. Perlocoptered by Hernandez or Melissa. You can even tell me who you want. Also, tell me who you picked in the comment section, and we can have a little conclab down there. Conclab, I like that word. All right, let's look at the picks now for tonight. Toronto over, or Toronto versus Calgary. I pretty much told you that Calgary's on a back-to-back. Uh, messed up on Calgary last night. After a four and a half hour flight, I should have been all over Montreal. I just didn't have faith in Montreal, even in that regard. But they did win. Now Calgary's going to play their have to play their backup against Toronto, and that would be Vladar. Campbell should be in net for Toronto. Uh, Toronto's been playing a lot better as of late, so I think they'll probably take this. I'm going to say Toronto in this one. Edmonton versus Buffalo. This is a tougher pick than you think. First of all, look at all the juice you're giving up. 156. I'm probably off of this game uh, because Edmonton's defense is terrible. So, And they're playing three games in four nights. They should beat Buffalo here. Buffalo has them banged up. They don't have Olofsson in. And they're going to be going with Tokarski still. So, which means Anderson is out. I mean, Edmonton should win this. But if you happen to notice, Edmonton has a tendency to play down to their competition. It wouldn't be out of the... Who am I going to pick here? Um, I'm, gonna, I'm still going to pick Edmonton. They should win this game. But I would say, like, maybe... 60% chance, seriously. I, I would not be surprised at all if Buffalo wins this game. Uh, Philadelphia Flyers versus the Carolina Hurricane. And uh, Carolina is just playing too good. But again, look at the juice you're giving up against a Philadelphia team that is starting to figure it out a bit. Um, um, i just not a big fan of the defense. Risto Linen, to me, just still hasn't looked good there. I hope the heck they don't have to pay him $7 million. They don't pay him $7 million next year because he's still not looking like he should. Carter Hart is playing well, but so is Anderson. Um, this is a type of team that Carolina can pick apart and usually, you know, beat fairly easily. That's the problem with Philadelphia. Philadelphia doesn't have a lot of speed in their lineup. Carolina is all about the speed. They should be all over this game. I'm going to take Carolina. Uh, Washington versus Columbus. Washington played last night uh, in Detroit. And, uh, well, what was that goaltender? Uh, Fucali. 
got his first win at 26 years old. And it was a shutout, which was pretty cool. So Washington was playing good defense with them, but they, because they played last night, and Columbus is getting plus money here, I still think Columbus will win this game. Washington has trouble with Columbus, has historically had trouble with Columbus. So I'm going to take Columbus to win. Arizona versus Chicago. Um, Arizona, we you know they've been playing a, little, a lot better. Their defense has been a lot better. Chicago has also been playing a lot better with the new coach that they have and playing better defensively. I'm going to stick with Chicago on the ML here. If there was a game to win on this road trip for Arizona, it would be this one. So I would keep it low, but I'd go Chicago. Now for Saturday, Boston versus New Jersey. And what was I saying about New Jersey? Watch out for New Jersey. They beat the Islanders uh, last night, and they'll have a day off, and they'll play Boston. Boston does not look good. I'm going New Jersey. I've been going New Jersey a lot, and I'm going to stick with them to win this one. Uh, Los Angeles versus Winnipeg. Um, this is a tough – Winnipeg, I haven't been able to figure them out yet. They're, sometimes they play really good defense. Sometimes they don't. Um, they, they're relatively inconsistent. I, and Los Angeles is well-driven. But they've been on the road a lot. I think I think I'm going to lean Winnipeg here, but barely. Uh, Toronto versus Buffalo. Buffalo will, of course, be on a back-to-back -back here, and so will Toronto. However, Toronto has travel time. That being said, I like their flow. I think Toronto wins that game. New York Rangers versus Columbus. Columbus will be on a back-to-back. -back. Rangers, the Rangers have been one of the most inconsistent effort teams, but they've been getting by. Shesterkin should be in net, and that's probably why they're playing Corpus Allo against uh, Washington, uh, because they want Merzlikens against this unbelievable uh, goaltending of Shesterkin with the Rangers. Tough, tough one to cap. I think I got to go with the team that's not on the back to back and take the Rangers on the road. Uh, Montreal versus Detroit. I'm taking Detroit. Um, I just think that, especially after the loss to Washington. They are going to be driven against this game in Montreal. Um, this is a team that thinks they can do it this year. This team is believing in themselves right now. Uh, Montreal is going to have a be coming off a high uh, playing against Calgary uh, with the game that they had against Calgary. Probably feeling, I think, a little overconfident. Calgary's legs were heavy. Detroit's won't be. I think Detroit takes this game. Um, my pick is Detroit. Ottawa uh, versus Pittsburgh. I can't take Ottawa right now with all the, got, the players they have out on COVID. And Pittsburgh is a team that smells blood and goes for it. I'm taking Pittsburgh in that game. Uh, Tampa versus Florida. This is a tough one. Uh, I'm not sure. I, I, I think I'm going to take Tampa just because of Vasilevsky. Uh, Bobrovsky is back, though. So it's possible he's in this game. It's uh, you know, a rivalry game. Difficult one to cap. Um, I'm going to take the home team barely here. Carolina versus St. Louis. Uh, I, St. Louis, when Bennington is playing at his peak, is a tough out. But, and he, I thought he was. And then they lost, who did they lose to? San Jose last game? And Bennington, were, oh no, it was Nashville on a back-to-back. -back. You can't be losing those games. Nashville's on a back-to-back. -back. Nashville was on a back-to-back. -back. St. Louis was coming off of a pretty good run. I know Nashville's a hard-working team, and that's the problem. They got outworked. And Carolina's going to outwork you. So... Carolina is also going to be on a back-to-back, -back, am I right? Yeah, Carolina's on a back-to-back. -back. I think Carolina will eke it out, eke it out, but it will be a tough out. Um, Philadelphia versus Dallas. Dallas will be on a back-to-back. -back. Uh, that's... 
tending, the goaltending is big on here. This is going to be Jones. Man, oh, man. I don't like Dallas's flow right now. But Philadelphia, I'm going to take Dallas on that game. Just because Philly is on a back-to-back. -back. This is getting to the time of the season where back-to-backs really matter. As we get into, after you get over about 10 or 12 games, teams do start getting more tired. And there's a lot of travel here for Philadelphia as well. Dallas should have that game. If they don't take that game, like these are the type of defining games that tell me if a team's going to be a playoff team or not. Like, for instance, with St. Louis. Watch out for St. Louis. That Not beating that Nashville that night was a massive disappointment, to tell you the honest truth. They should have nailed that game. Uh, Nashville versus Arizona. I, Arizona will be on a back-to-back -back on this one. Uh, Nashville, the, Arizona's MO that they're making for themselves is they outwork their opposition. Nashville does not get outworked. So I'm taking Nashville against Arizona. Colorado versus San Jose. I'm taking Colorado. Colorado's found their mojo. They destroyed Vancouver. Uh, even with McKinnon out, it's like they finally found the motivation here. Um, I'm going to take Colorado over San Jose. Minnesota versus Seattle. Um, Seattle is really not playing with a lack of confidence right now. Uh, I think they're struggling with the idea that, oh, are we really just an uh, expansion team and we can't do it? Um, Minnesota has been on the road a long time. It's not a gimme, but I'm going to take Minnesota. And Vancouver versus Vegas, I'm off of Vancouver. I'm taking Vegas. I think Green's going to get fired soon. That loss was dev was terrible to Colorado. They should have at least been able to keep that close. Um, and Vegas is playing with a lot of uh, gumption right now. They're playing with a lot of confidence, even with all the players that they have out. So Vegas it is. Taking Vegas. Okay, there you go. That's the picks for the next two days. Tell me how you what you're picking down there. Tell me how you did. Look at this. A little Perlo dance for you. My daughter made that shirt for me. Perlo dance. We do the Perlo dance. And you can check that out on my live show at the NHL Pearls of Wisdom show. Five days a week, weekdays, three to five Eastern. Come on and we talk about anything hockey. All hockey, all the time. Love it. And I love you guys that watch, all 42 of you. You guys are making so much money. It's like uh, you get like 42 people watching. The It's, it's funny. All, all of you guys are making money because I'm hitting quite a bit, right? So uh, for you, fortunately, you found it, found this, this uh, channel. Get over to Pro Picks. Search Pro Picks. And you can get all my, like these are just, these are my three leans that I'm giving to you. But if you want my full picks that hit a lot, go to Pro Picks. That's my full 42. Have a great day, everybody. Okay, bye.